be great. I don't remember how long this investigation mm -hmm. is. Hopefully it's short. Oh, you can, you can always help me out when it gets stuck. Mm -hmm. Like, if I remember. I don't want it to take long. I mean, what? You got a dead body with its face, like, Yeah, covered, with, like, it up. seems to be a girl. Okay, we are supposed to go here. Oh, because they found a... They uh, found a... Yeah, we got a key. Okay, yeah, they, they found a key on the body. The bile was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. Actually, when I, I went to insert the... the hmm? trial is. I forget how long the next trial is. Mm, I don't know. Uh... It'll probably be gonna be long, so... <laughs> when I went to insert the key, I found in the garden into the heel keyhole. The key isn't close to fitting. Honestly, I don't think it's a key, it's a USB drive. Is it? I need to take a look mm. at it. It kind of looks Not like really. it, but it... Which means the key doesn't go to this room! Oh, oh also, my how god! Is that door locked? Have... How the fuck is that door locked? <laughs> like, what kind of door what is that? What door was key? locked? Actually... Hmm. Um... It's just classrooms. You're in the bio lab. I think the, the other ones are actually good. Okay, so this article says the fifth trial is shorter than the previous one, so... Oh, okay. I don't know how much shorter. But, I mean... Uh, actually, I can figure that out. Actually, Maybe. let's try this one. Um, the headmaster's room was locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. I mean, kind of does look a, look like a key, but at the same time, I was like, is that a USB drive? When I went to set the key, I found in the garden the keyhole. Huh? The key won't go in. Uh, I guess that means the key doesn't go to this door either. Fuck. Okay. It must be this one! Oh my god, I missed it. I mean, it looks... Color, colors fit. The door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give another try. Then I put it in. Oh my god. It fits. Then this is the key to the data center. Oh, actually, I managed to unlock the data me? center. Hmm? I didn't look. Are you sharing it with me? Oh shit, I'm I sorry. I was just looking on the stream. I'm sorry, I forgot. <gasps> I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, I guess all that running around paid off. Uh, that was like a fair one. Wait, I forgot. I forgot about my chat. I'm sorry, chat. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you next to my game so I can see it. Or no, you know what? No, on the second screen. Because I have second screen this time. I have to go tell everyone else! I immediately headed back to the garden! Yeah. Oh, fuck. Of course they're gonna start talking while I'm trying to do something. Of course! So, you're back. How did it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's a data center. Down on the full fro- fro- full- oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> then we can get into the data center now? Um, that's what I just said. Interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. <laughs> By what? Why? Oh, okay. I don't know why I was, like, confused. By why did the now deceased... But why? That's why I was confused. I somehow read <laughs> by instead of but. But why did the deceased have that key on them? Hmm. 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 I suppose we'll have to go to the data center to find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Why am I forgetting how much of an accent I gave this guy? Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um. Hey, so when do you open the when you open that door? There's not gonna be another. Another huge kaboom! Like before, right? Uh, um... Oh, fucking, I'm gonna send you something in Discord after. <clears throat> uh, okay. So I found a cute picture. Oh. I'm gonna share it with you. 
You're asking that- Oh, that- What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I reading in my normal book? You're asking that question now? Don't worry, we have Makoto. Oh, fuck you. What? In other words... One second. It's in your hands. I volunteered to put Byakuya and that the right fucking now, head first. A again? It means I trust you. Oh, it means that you want me, you you want to use me as a fucking meat shield. Thank you very much, you fucking asshole. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Well, he's funny, fucking smart. How did I turn off this? There you go. Oh god, the game is not working good. Uh -oh. Why? Wasn't this happening last time? I think so. Mm. I reached out and put my hand at the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. A silent pra prayer, I slowly opened the door. Ugh, nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. And the word the room was... Strange. I mean... All the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was looking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Oh. Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look up. Look at all of those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each one to display a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, ev every part of the school was covered. Th this is... What? It's the direct fee from every single surveillance surveillance camera. <laughs> Said that we. Oh, it's him again. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking bitch! <clears throat> All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. Wait, give me a second. Yeah. So you found something, right? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> I I do have art I can show you, actually. Uh, oh, well, what are we gonna do? Did okay, um, uh, they're just play Okay, you would've read that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll send the art after. It's for DR2, though. So you won't know the characters yet, but it's cute art nonetheless. Okay. Well, we're gonna meet them anyway soon, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. Oh my god, I wouldn't have figured that out! Oh my god... <laughs> what do you do? To watch that? us! Oh, dude, there's been cameras all over the place. Oh my god, what are you act so dumb? Then this room is... It's all clear now. The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. Oh my god, look at that fucking monokuma door over there. I wouldn't have fucking guessed. So the mastermind was here. There's even Watching a us. In here. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? Oh. The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it could only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Huh? Then the mastermind is dead! Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. Biaki is eating something. <laughs> Are you reading rice? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoy your eyes. Are you serious? Oh, he's it's eating okay. too. Right. Yeah, they're all <laughs> eating. Oh my god. Just go to, uh, maybe they could like, gonna, like rice balls in their hands place. just eating right now. <laughs> oh god, her tiny, tiny hands. 
It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. You think you think he'd do it? I don't feel like he'd have it in him to actually kill someone. The mastermind is dead. I feel like their heads are just too big. <laughs> Maybe. Could there really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, the obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was that? But... But, but if the Mastermind's really dead... That means we see <laughs> that what the fuck? What happened there? That means we can finally get out of this hellhole! Oh, he's really excited. Bro, I was so excited to read that I fucked it up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. That's enough. <clears throat> Has there been like no front door anywhere? Or... There must have been, right? And it was just locked. Hmm. No, we have to check this er area thoroughly first. Hmm? Oh, but what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. True. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? what? M murdered? So you think so too? That's Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> so you think so too, I said to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you think so too, huh? Oh, well, he said that for himself. <laughs> of course, he already said that, I don't need to read it. <laughs> <laughs> the state of the corpse makes, makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. What if they just stab themselves? <laughs> My, <clears throat> the mastermind was murdered. But why is it gonna be that way? I mean, who could have done it? But Such what's the thinking? Because if Monokuma is gone, because the mastermind's dead, they don't need to hold a trial. <laughs> like, <clears throat> and that's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you. You understand? You use this insect. You're banned from talking to Master ever again! <laughs> the Mastermind's okay, purpose up, okay. and why they were killed. This room mm. may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent... Spent who knows... Wait. The Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused <laughs> by reading that mm -hmm. sentence. sentence. Um, he's being like, I don't remember what was said before, but he's like talking basically like the mastermind probably spent a lot of time in this like office, maybe? D yeah. I guess. I don't know, f fuck it. <laughs> I can only explain if there was con- if I remembered the context. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Oh my god, yeah, uh, there was a tab. So we can <clears throat> look at, uh, I wanna go to the door, but uh, I need to look at the, the, the stuff. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. <gasps> oh, it's got, sorry. <laughs> they look like high performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what? You can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in! Huh? What century are you from? The masterminds must have been using these to monitor the network. And Alter Ego. <clears throat> you may as well be right about that. You, yeah, you may as well be right about that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Oh, uh, yes, I am. I am always um, right. This, I guess. There's really a ridicu ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. <laughs> as long as I have this. 
Uh, huh? Look at Master go! It's like a feast for the eyes! Oh, leave the room, bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> How much is a monthly membership? For what?! Who fucking uh, knows? Girl! Why are we even talking to her? She's just crazy every time we talk to her. <clears throat> no matter when, no, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following her every move. I mean, they absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? A lot. Ah, uh, there's also something room, behind them. Oh, sauna. this one. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. <clears throat> huh? Hey, look! Next to the TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Um, are you talking to... are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can well, watch TV, Hina. let's do it! Come on, come on, come on! You know? Girl, we got more important things to do, what do you mean? Ah, you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. Alright, let me work my magic and you'll do, be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, okay. I get the reference, but oh, what's he talking about? Okay, let him do his TV. <coughs> this door is kind of creepy. Got a picture of Mono, come on. What could, what could be inside? No luck. The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key to open this room? Uh, let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. It won't even fit the f fit in the keyhole. Oh well. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. Mm. But worrying about it's gonna do me very good. Break it down after Master Mastermind's right, gone. Hina's right, the Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Uh, really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh. Friggin' idiot mastermind. All you, you guys need to cut free from your reg regret to the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Huh? Um, oh wait, they oh my god. It's this them part might watching. Be voiced. Oh, maybe not. Huh? Huh? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I was like trying to do a good huh? Huh? <laughs> this is. Look at the way he's squatting. <laughs> I wanted to take a screenshot of this, but. <laughs> is the feet coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh? That's weird. Come on. Wait, wait. There we go. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird. Super weird. But... Girl, why? You didn't do anything. You're <laughs> like... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how's it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Let's try that. He went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... Ass. It was a life view of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Is it broken or something? Could it be? 
No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. A trick? Well, a kind of trick. Actually, I'm not sure, but. Huh? Hmm? Huh? What? Huh? <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? Okay, well, he did that, huh? <laughs> Why are you friggin' bastards? M Monokuma! Hmm? Huh? Oh, you're supposed to be dead! <laughs> dead? Be friggin' stupid, I don't remember how to do this. What? One minute, one minute, let me. No. <laughs> it's just gonna have to happen organically. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, you're acting kinda strange. Something seems different. Of course, I'm different. Motion is perfectly natural. I don't remember how. Oh, fuck, he hasn't been here for so long. I don't remember his voice. After all, it's been I. I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh -huh. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. Oh. <clears throat> how are your life again? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> fuck. So oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. Chat, remind me how to do this. There's no other no, chat. There's no other chat. chat. Somebody show up and chat and remind me how to do this. That's what I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <clears throat> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear! I mean, it's totally laughable! It makes me laugh! I'm gonna laugh now! <laughs> <laughs> well, now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to, uh, ugh, and begin to despair the future out of you! I want to have all, way more fun killing. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. <clears throat> you can't be serious. You have to keep going. Let me out of <clears throat> no, we were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Clearly. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Besides, <clears throat> yep. This life is not bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Mm. Are you serious? This place is the worst! <laughs> if it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> well, now. All that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... <clears throat> you guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us a surveillance feed? <laughs> How attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. Ta -da! The TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> but what's that mean? Use your damn brains, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it's displaying the signal, but it's just so standing here. Unbelievable. Ugh. That's so stupid, do you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, this killing thrills. game is being broadcast to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV! W what? Extreme. This killing game is being broadcast to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV! Um... It doesn't <clears throat> matter how many times he says this, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Are I you mean, uh, are you people dumb? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yes, we're dumb. 
I mean, if I find on the sun, to, if I you can see, you can hear. I'm dumb. But I can't read. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure. I don't understand the deeper meaning. But what? Bro broadcast? <laughs> oh, fuck! Broadcast oh God, live joking. to the entire world? <clears throat> what kind of bad joke is this? That's it can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Look at how fucking scared he is. I can't repeat it via broadcast. No way. That's impossible. Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know? Yeah. All you need is one weird trick that I found and hijacking the airwaves is the easy mode. Uh, are you being serious right now? Oh, oh, well, I sent it. <laughs> I heard a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean. My mind has begun to creak and groan. Hey, okay. Um, everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you. All those tantalizing timbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them the true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best despair entertainment. What are you saying? Uh, you, you're, uh, you're lying. <clears throat> this was on TV, the police and everyone... Everyone else would would be going crazy. Um, yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually, what if they already did? Uh, huh? Huh? Yes, indeed. But again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communication like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> I don't know why the voice started going higher. Yep, so how could things have come this far? He's well, getting really nervous, that's why. <laughs> that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? W the what? dead body photo. The dead body. Uh, yeah, duh. There's that little business of... Class trial. Yeah, class trial. A body <clears throat> has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial... Uh, uh, huh? <clears throat> class trial, do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> There's a fucking dead body! Oh my it's god. The file. Leave the next Monacuma file right here. Go and give it all you've got, okay? Okay, things are getting pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't are we going wait. to have a class trip right now, or is it. Uh, I might start an investigation. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then <clears throat> he was gone. Reality was incompressible. <laughs> Long roll hmm. words again. I can't read. Incompre incom incomprehensible. The truth are uh, hopeless, hopelessly out of reach. All we were left was was despair. Oh, time to cry. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. I took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh, I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. Plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. 
what it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. Oh, 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 oh I what? was like, what? What, the heck? What, what are you talking about? I thought Mukuru Ikusaba was the one who died. <laughs> The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko's. There is no other possibility. <clears throat> that don't look like Yoko, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. Look at the hair. That hair yeah, is brown. Like it's not fucking purple. It's not even slightly purple. <laughs> like, like man, I mean, it could be nails. burned, but it, nah, it doesn't look like that, though. I don't know and she got the red like, nails. Like, Kyoko does, I don't think Kyoko had red Kyoko, nails. Kyoko, I think, had gloves Unless, on. I don't think you can wear gloves like that underneath. You some, know what? Fuck like, true. I so I don't know yeah, if you can wear nails like that under gloves. <laughs> Because those look like pretty long. Mm. The, hmm. the body says Kyoko's? <laughs> the Kyoko's is the body? <laughs> no, it's impossible. Because because I love her. <laughs> no, no, my other girlfriend. <laughs> the girlfriend. She's dead. This is a single fucking time in here. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> There's only like two girls left and one's a psycho. <laughs> None of them are my type. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think either of the boys likes me. <laughs> no, the fucking I <laughs> Because because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't know who she really is. To have an end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it is your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. <laughs> Myself? Mm. Yeah, we ain't helping you, Makaro. You gotta do this one alone. Oh my god, <laughs> anyway, hell, man. Did that come through? No. <laughs> oh, I read it when you started talking. Anyway, we'd better begin. But... 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 If you're gonna have a class trial... Then that means the killer... That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying. No. Huh? Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. Mm. I don't have time to explain now. There's a... Ververtible... Ver ver <laughs> ver Ververtible... Oh, fuck. How do I not know this word? Ververtible. Ververtible mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you put everything you have in this. That is how this game works, after all. Okay, there we go. That's an investigation. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Though the explosion, the victim identif identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wands, but these were at least several days old. Hmm. So even the Monkama file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The un unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I feel maybe that it's a cop, maybe a mannequin or something. But who knows, honestly. I have no choice. I have to investigate. You, yes, you have no choice. Everybody had no choice, so... I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out... I have to find out what happened. Or we all... Or we are... All dead. I need to go back to the scene of crime. Back to the garden. It 
took us like 45 minutes to get to the investigation? Damn. Okay, time to get started. And to check anywhere that may be imparted from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. Ah, oh, we gotta check the weapon. Let's do that. There's a knife laying on the ground. This is this... It must be the knife that was struck in the body before it explo exploded. The force of the explosion must have been thrown it over here. How come it threw the knife over there, but it threw, um... Taco so far away? True. How did it get the knife, like... How was the explosion enough to blow the knife out of the body, though? If the explosion was on the face? I don't know, I don't, for some reason I feel like that knife would not come out easy, like, it's like, jagged. The Monokuma file said that the ne that the knife went all the way through the body from back to from from front to back. Does that mean this knife was caught? Is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife it looks really familiar. Wait, is this? You know shit, Makoto. <laughs> I could tell it was that knife That's it. from the moment we saw it on the body. Yeah, it's the knife that person was holding. It's a knife from his room! This is getting really wild. Mm. There are too many strange coincidences. Whoever this person, the mask, was that attacked me last night. We were holding that knife. And the same knife was used to stop the same masked attacker we found here. So maybe this masked person got stopped because... Hmm. And they attacked. I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. And maybe then I... I... If it, this really is Kyoko... Do I mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me? But... Why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No. No. It can't be. There's no way. Um, let's check this. These look like fragments of something. They all burnt, so I can't... I can't really be sure, but... Like I feel like bomb? I've seen something like this before. But where? Wait, was it there? I have to double check after that. I'm gonna guess the gym. Gym? Because I think that I, I feel like that's the bomb. Mm. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, they're fake! Yeah, I mean, oh, these are fake nails. nails! They're like pick ons <clears throat> That's why I was saying I don't think nails like that could be on, on the, under gloves because they would fall off. They're really long. They seem like they they get in the way of normal activity. This is something on the back of her hand. This is a tattoo? It got burnt, so I can't make out of the whole thing. Hmm. It looks like a picture of a dog, or something. I've never seen anything like this before. What are you doing, Charlie? Now the dogs want to move because they... I'm tapping my phone in? Charlie! The upper half of the body got set on fire on, uh, in the explosion, so it's totally ba blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. Oh, right. Okay, well... That's because it got set on fire and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part of that was on fire. The top half. The bottom half. Wait. <coughs> okay. Since I only threw water on par on the part that was on fire. The top half. The bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half <coughs> being wet. There isn't right. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burned up. 
There's only one little piece left. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top the top half got set on fire. So I dumped a book of water on it. I know. Oh my god. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? That's it? The Malcolm Flower, huh? Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Anyway, I don't think it's really the case, so I think I'll just stay away. Just to be sure, I should take a look at the tool shed. The germ is dusty and it is disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereotypical tool shed. Is this... a trap? Wait, there was a trap in here before? I should probably look into that. It could be, re it could be related to the case. This stuff is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside is totally clean and completely dry. The other side of the trap is wet and dry. Something about that bothers me. The tarp, not trap, fuck, the tarp. Holy shit, sorry. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. Okay. I remember there were some chickens in the chicken coop. Wait, why there's there's four chickens? Weren't there five? Yeah, there huh? were. Four? Yo! What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We are one short. Huh? <gasps> That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. The other chickens murdered it. I was doing. Uh, I was down here just before night time last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. Okay. I do my best to ignore you here and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to could it be related to the case? Maybe. <gasps> oh fuck it this is the pond that controls the sprinkles. Sprinkler sprinklers. They're set to turn out of 7.30 every morning. And I'm gonna set the time possibly couldn't be changed. Hmm. Huh? Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then, if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten it wet. Which could mean the murder must have taken place before 7.30! No, after 7.30, fuck. Maybe. Sprinkles have been added to the... Oh, sorry. I'm not reading them. No matter when... No matter when... Blah, 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 the commands are everywhere. Okay, I guess we just talking to people. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? For serious. Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When was the... When the body was found, huh? I should look back what I did in the morning to help me remember what time it was. But it was and whenever, woke me up at 7 o'clock. It was whenever Toko got sent here. Hmm? It was whenever Toko got sent to go get the pickaxe. Yeah. Manukuma's announcers woke me up at 7 o'clock, as usual, so I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. 
Once I got there, I met up with Ina. That was right around 7.30. Then oh, I headed to the gym where everyone there. was... when uh, Where everyone else was waiting. Next, Sokka went to the get... Went to go get the pickaxe and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? Now the go. <laughs> oh. Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. So it was between 7.30 and 9. And nine yeah. That's right! It had been right around 9 o'clock. Bro, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So I think we can say for sure the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job that I did I'm for you, for the fucking bitch. <laughs> Get away from me. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. Never mind, I'm here. What do you want to talk about? So, in other words... I'd like to hear your alibi. We were fucking together! A-a-a- alibi? In other words... Correct. I'd like to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um... Well, I was sick, so I, so I was asleep all night. But Don't what are you asking about that now? Hmm? Okay, Mak Makoto's asking to be, like, suspicious with that. He's like, um, well... <laughs> Who's in my room? But why are you asking about that now? And what's Nighton got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder take place took place after nighttime. This murder take place. Is how can you know that for sure? Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro's been spending most of his time in the garden in the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words... So the murder could only have taken place. At some point during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, and Hina and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. But what? <clears throat> Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We went to the bathroom in pairs. Damn, imagine him going to the bathroom with Hiro. Mm -hmm. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. Hina having to go with fucking Toko? Jesus. The only one who... The only ones who don't have alibis are... Oh. oh, the only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko... <clears throat> then I'm the only one without an alibi. Not finishing my sentences, Makoto. Also, when we went to get go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door. So, where precisely were you? I was I fucking sick! I was sleeping! I'm telling the truth, I was in my room! But I was dead asleep. I had a fever, fucking bitch! Do you understand that? That's hardly an alibi. Okay, well, I know, but... <laughs> They're gonna fucking blame him because the knife is his. <laughs> like, that's... 100% what's gonna fucking happen, right? Like... This fucking Byaki is like, hmm, you don't got an alibi. And then they're gonna be like, this knife looks like the one Makoto was holding on to. So, what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm the only one with an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> but now we know about the time. Mm hmm. So, um, it can't be Makoto. Uh, Listen, we kind of know about the time. Hmm? Yaka didn't give an hour, right? He just said after night time. Yeah. Well, it did happen after night time, but it was mm -hmm. during the, um, like it was in the morning. So, do you yeah. remember how the body looked? You know, before it blew up. Um, if I remember right. 
he was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach. <clears throat> and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Yaki said not to touch it to give avoid getting all bloody. For now, how how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I only totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it, about it like that helped me remember it a lot better too. So thank you too. Get ready to blame you in the trial now. I think I checked everything I needed in this area. But I'm not done yet. So there are areas I need to check. Especially that fragment I found before. That mm, there's assume. somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicion. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. So you're gonna just ignore it, um Toko, okay. Is Akko really Kyoko? That's true. Was that also Kyoko that attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. The key to her room. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage any further in any further suspicious activity. What? Moment. Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. <laughs> Fine, bitch. Take it. <laughs> Did that come through? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, man. Shit. <clears throat> oh, oh my Hello? fucking game. I don't have a choice. I have to see if you'll let me borrow her key room. A room key. Well, we gotta talk to them. Oh, we're gonna go investigate? Hey, um, Yakia? If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later, at the class trial. Oh, no. It's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? Us helping, I could borrow it. Um... I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. All right, all right. Well, you don't cross me, though. Fuck you, too. Well, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then, will you go with me? And he's like, no. <laughs> mm, sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later. We'll see. Goodbye. Fuck you. Depending on my mood, I may go with you or I may not. Yeah, fuck you, Biakia. Come back later, huh? Okay. Fuck you, Makoto. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I never want to talk to you again. Me too. Silence. Okay, then in the meantime, I, sh I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that. Oh my fucking god. That one area. <laughs> Uh, we're not even gonna talk to Toko. Don't. Oh my god. <laughs> I just swallowed rice wrong. Oh shit, you said gem. Let's just go to the gem. I'm gonna assume gem. <clears throat> oh, well, it looks like that. Then, because there is. I'm gonna assume he's gonna be like, this is the bomb. Are you by the microphone? Hmm? Yeah. You don't make a lot of noise, though, so I don't think you're gonna get picked up. <clears throat> I was like, me? No, 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 Charlie. <laughs> He's lying <laughs> on the desk. Monokuma's hey, laying this mental yeah. on the floor, but... I figured it wouldn't be here. Did you say cement? <laughs> Wait. <sighs> I just found something. What is it? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a good it's... boy. Huh? <laughs> it's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Bonakuma robot, I'm sure. Oh, what? A bomb. 
<laughs> and that bomb went missing. There's no bad about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Okay. The fragments, you're the body, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now to Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask mm. Byakuya. I uh, skipped Byakuya's that, but... already done. <laughs> that was really fast. Oh, Byakuya. We like fucking best bodies. Come on, you're not gonna help your body out. Like, you're so heartless. Are we on the right one? I don't remember. <laughs> Data center... So. No, it's fifth floor. <clears throat> um... The fucking cowbell in this song. Mm. You think you can go soon, Byakuya? Go. You want to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Oh, wait for me, man! Fucking Christ, man! You're so fast! You're leaving without finishing your sentences. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> Byakuya walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on our way to the dorms. Kyoko! Can't believe I'm going to Kyoko's room! Oh my god! <clears throat> well then, here we go. The Akio took out the key and slid it into the keyhole then. And it's open. <clears throat> Looks like it. Thanks! So, this is Kyoko's room. There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for the lockers. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya going somewhere like that, some doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think we might know what it is. Oh my fucking you something dumb? Really? What? Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. The, the dojo? <clears throat> Is there anything else? Hmm, I don't think so. Here's her bed. bed I didn't see anything in. interesting here. At least not as far as the case is concerned. Um... Such ignorance. Oh, so hey, there's I more. Can... Uh, oh, it's talking about the dojo again. Here's the bathroom. Hello, Charlie. He's a cute little guy. Oh my god. What? You wanted to come here, right? So, what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought <laughs> you might find some kind of clue in, of here. A clue that might help. That might help us understand Kyoko. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here. Dude, come on. Sorry. How much more do you have to do? Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how many times, how much time you take. Surely you have something. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. <laughs> Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. 
Sure, I have it somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Uh, okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. And there was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Only Under the, the sheets. What could it be? Well. <clears throat> But could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but I lifted up the sheets. What's this? I found a crumble or a piece of paper. Yeah, the dog was Class number seventy-eight thing. student registry? <clears throat> Mukuro Ikusaba. I see. It appears to be Mukuro Ikusaba's profile. Yeah. Looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room, along with the key. Fine, fine, I'll tell ya. It was a key and a beep, that's it. <clears throat> that must be the blank that Mon Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said that death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. <laughs> I don't have time for your sentimental indulgence. Hurry up and finish your search. Oh, okay. I made an effort to pull myself together, then look down at the profile sheet. Name Mukuro Ikusaba, sex female, the ultimate soldier. Mm. Although small of her, although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood. And soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won the survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering a middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense inter international investigation threw up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a, mil a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. Isn't Fenrir a group of people of a group in fucking Godier? Mm. I don't know. I know. I think it's a part of. Uh, I think that's a name from Norse mythology too. Let me look it up. Yeah. Oh. So, North mythology wise, Fenrir is a wolf. That's as far as my knowledge of Fenrir goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just gonna joke that she joined the fucking God Eater organization. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. She was fighting well, big ass monsters for these three fucking years. Considering Fenrir is a wolf, there was like a weird symbol on her hand, right? Oh yeah, it's a. He said it was a dog, but it could be a wolf. Mm -hmm. I mean the law the logo of the um, of the organization is also like a weirdly looking dog wolf I mean but it's uh it doesn't look like that but <laughs> I'm gonna so <laughs> joke that she joined fucking God Eater. Okay, she insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she received battle training of her own violation. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Oh my god. Hum. The ultimate soldier. A mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world that grew up in. It's like a completely different dimension. Okay. It's like one's non-fiction and the other one is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different it is. Mm. That's how I saw things. It's just an ordinary person. But then... I see. 
I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collect a collection of battle crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses. And they have always got and they uh, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says the Fenrir has already... Found it. Oh, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit... A bit player and a bit... Becoming a bit player and a bit player is becoming our hero. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Hmm, what have you got in your pretty little hands there? What? Bitch, you know, you're watching on the cameras. Like, uh-oh, you found her profile? So, what if we did? Hey, come Don't on freak now. me out. No, don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Okami, Okami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it and devour it. Bears are omnivores, you know. What? Are rule violations really so for 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 are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Hmm. Of course I am. Proper life is built with a dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well. Of course. Absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is. Uh, now can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting. <laughs> I'm not the one writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in the killing game. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants were act there actually were, did I? I said actually twice. I was thinking, I should probably clarify that. Oh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> when y'all first got here in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. <clears throat> a, a misunderstanding? Are you saying... In other words... That's right, there weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking part in the killing game was actually 16. 16, then... Hmm. Mikuro Ikusaba oh my god. Student. I gotta show oh, this scene again. Somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The 16 student, Mikuro Ikusaba. Mm. It's part of the school's life, so the one making all the regulations is... Uh, why? Huh? Hmm. Did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... <laughs> well, like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we got so many viewers now, I want to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane and complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed! Makes sense. Well, now. Okay, that's all I got now. That's all you get for now, whoops. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back with that sneaky Miss Kirikiri, so I'm gonna share a little secret with you. S seriously hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. B what? 
<laughs> okay, now that's all you get. What, are you going to mislead us? Because, again, I don't know that she can wear those nails on her gloves. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars. Wait, so on the back of her hand... No, oh my god. It's a two. Why would she wear but, fake Oh my god, what would she have? No, right. that's not her. Wait, but no. Monokuma okay, speci specifically said that there were scars, right? And then that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars. Which means... Then, you know, but she could with also... Scar that looks but... exactly like a wolf. <laughs> like... Okay, but she also could have... The girl how could also have scars because she was in the military. And it's expected to have some scars. I mean, like, they must be pretty, like, obvious scars if she oh, wears hi, gloves specifically to cover them up. How are we doing today? Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Why oh, wouldn't he be? We were just talking about her. <laughs> uh huh. What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such <clears throat> ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you this dull. Hmm. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? Said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Obviously, Monokumo is trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that? And why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any compl com complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Monokuma is related to the case. It's huh. certainly possible. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. But what? Hmm. That would explain why we would have... T that would explain why we have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Makuro is the killer? She mm. killed Kyoko. Why we just okay, we're just assuming it's Kyoko for sure. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? If in fact, that's exactly why I thought when the investigation that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But that. based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. <laughs> you knocked the mic over. It's all clear now. You little bomb. Mukuro Ikosaba <laughs> isn't the culprit. The dog is like blocking the screen. I got to see that people <laughs> use um sound alerts. <laughs> huh? That makes you say that. We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the Mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. In other words... <clears throat> Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense, then, to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. Biaki's too full of himself. He doesn't know she's a... She's a? What do you mean by that? <laughs> that's some dumb, but... That's a possibility. <laughs> so, that's the trap. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> they want to sus suspect Mukaro and come to the wrong conclusion. That's what makes German sense for to shit. Me. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know German. <clears throat> The way you say it, it definitely does seem possible. But if that's really true, if Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. What is this music that suddenly changed? Like, look at that. <laughs> Guitars start kicking in. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I should find out if that 
Heat, the Dodger really are connected. So, sorry. I should find out if that key and the Dodger really are connected. <laughs> sorry, the dog's like in the way. Well, are you coming? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> There are wooden lockers in here. Yeah. Oh, he always does that. Mm. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> but at this point, I think it's like, it's none of the people actually there. It's, it's gonna be really hard to prove though. Like, <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm confused. There are wooden lockers here. They use wood blocks key. Just like those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key was found in Gekko's room. Really does go into one of those lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker? What do you mean? Why right? you call me? What what do you call me? I didn't call you anything. <laughs> you want me to read that again? Makoto, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Dog, you're in my way. Sit. Sit down. Nah, I'm confused. What's going on? Anyway, Very so... Strange. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. Dude, the way I have to lean right now, because it's dog. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? That's right. Well, just try it. Oh, okay. I got the wood block key and inserted it into the locker's metal lock and... The locker equally accepted the key and it opened. <laughs> Arrows? There are hours in here. It looks like 10 hours in total. Oh, there's something under it. Yeah, look they like they're look made like of titanium. Made... Nope. Which means me. they... Oh, fuck, that's Viakia, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. They look like they're made of titanium. Which means they're quite strong, despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, there's no... they're nothing but strong little sticks. I mean, you can throw them. Maybe. <laughs> strong <laughs> <hard> sticks. <laughs> Oh, there's something else inside the locker. <clears throat> it's a water out ball and duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Is that a blood stain? Blood stain. If it is, that means it oh. must really be related me. to the case. Me. That was me. You read another Biakia line. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. I'm just like. Go move Are that. Down? It was F2. There you go. You if can it read is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This detective is related to the case somehow. But yeah. how could it possibly be involved? Surely. Thank god. Yeah, I'm gonna go put my bowl in the I think sink that's all the rocker has to offer for now. I mean, yeah, you can't no, no, beat no. somebody's mouse with them. Is something wrong? Strange. It's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Biakia? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue on to the next location. Um, huh? What next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. I was just checking something. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Oh, do we need to go to the library? Fenrir? <laughs> you mean the mercenary group that Mora Mokar Mokar oh, sorry. <laughs> Mokar was part of. But how are we supposed to find out find out about that? Isn't it obvious? Where in the school would you go to do research on something? 
Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. We're gonna find out. Research. Are you talking about the archive? That's right, the archive! Has all kind of kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Let's go. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. I'm gonna go fill my water bottle quick. <laughs> Go talk yet, my god, of course, one second. Give me one minute. Oh my god. And he's speaking. Hurry up! You the bathroom? You're really confusing me over here. Okay, okay. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Yeah, he seemed to know the arc of like the back of his hand. I went straight to the shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. I can't just read because it's their role. <laughs> Equip will return with the file in hand. What was I mean, we just we just probably talked about me like a minute. I see. <laughs> Take a look at this. Hmm, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Wee oui, wee oui, baguette. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. Do <laughs> yourself, Makara. We had to learn French. Well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. I didn't have to. I mean, I did learn for a while, but I then then said no, <laughs> you can't, can't learn French can't anymore. Sense, but a hundred times isn't that kind of extreme? Fenrir, hot human, based out in, based out of the Middle East. Interesting. Unlike the military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is a member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> I assumed it was referencing the Norse one because that's, I mean, the wolf on her hand. Their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, much of which are highly classified. I love how he has the book open, like he's like reading it, and Biaki is not even near it, and he's reading because it he out read loud it so Makoto. many times. That's why. Oh, okay. he knows like he it. Just memorizes it. That's yeah. <laughs> this guy's crazy. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There, there are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe there was mounting in internal tension within the group and they simply imploded. Uh, what is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternative reality. Dude, they were a secret organization. <laughs> like, well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. What's well, the word I'm using? So, did anything jump out to you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? <laughs> That's right. It said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each, each soldier that joins the squad 
would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean... Okay. Oh, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by <clears throat> little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later! <clears throat> then the time has come. What we can do now is to try and cover the truth during the class trial. It would seem that way. Let's go. Hmm. Damn. I was just... Whoa, Yaki and Makoto showed up together. Why the heck have you two been? Fuck, I can't read her anymore. <clears throat> Why the heck have you two been? It just disappeared without a word. We were investigating. What were you three doing? Standing around in the garden? We were investigating, of course. How could you possibly not figure that out by this point? We were, at, uh, we were actually going and we were making out one of the closets. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Makoto ranked high enough for you guys to go off together? Just the two of you? Yes. Huh? Yes. What? Are you jealous? You know what? Just for just because I don't like you, Togo, yes, we did make out in the closet. <laughs> or are you and making we just up came some up kind of we just oh. came oh, fuck, I can't <laughs> I can't <laughs> talk. Yes, we just walked out of the closet. <clears throat> yeah, just now. We were in there when the announcement happened. <laughs> or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? What? Stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Any second? It could show up at any time. When I imagined that was <clears throat> what was about to happen. Fuck, sorry. I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... He stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something <laughs> weird to happen, and then five minutes became ten. <laughs> what if they just stood here? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Did he always show up? I don't fucking remember anymore. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe he died again. Hmm. What should we do? <clears throat> should we keep waiting here or... Or, <gasps> or what? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I'm not Jesus, I'm Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm. I was busy making out with Kyoko in the closet. What? 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 <laughs> what? I made you wait. You've got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Uh, huh? In other words. <clears throat> I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here. Now, can we? Huh? Oh, what are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. Oh. <laughs> but I've been waiting ten minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. Then we hear the voice. <clears throat> we all spun around to look. Hey. I'm here, and no rules been broken. Kyoko! Ah, I heard you made out with Miyakia in the closet, Makoto. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Kyoko, you're still alive! <clears throat> Oh, that's a g -g 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 ghost! Stop talking. Hmm. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? He made out with me in the closet. 
I think that's bad enough. Ooh, the bug. I may be here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? You're so selfish, so spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty, officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. Shing! No, I'll make sure you'll be sorry later. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. How does he travel around? <laughs> like, is the trap doors open? Like... <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe he vents. Oh god. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. We all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah. So you really didn't die? Indeed. <laughs> of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank god, I'm so glad you're okay. Hmm. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Uh, huh? <clears throat> He's right! Now we've got to deal with a g g ghost I told you to stop talking. Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whenever we- whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without even looking directly at Kyoko, Piaki just stepped into <clears throat> the elevator. Master, wait for me! Um... <laughs> Good call. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long. I'll be happy when this trial's all over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I... I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. I thought you waited for me. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. <sighs> Where have you been this whole time? I fucking missed you so much. Making out with Monokuma in the closet. No! <laughs> we have to break that. <laughs> you used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So the closet. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second <clears throat> floor? That's right. There aren't many any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then when did you find out? So... When I saw you <laughs> and Byakuya leaving the closet. Just now, I finished my research and came back down just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I couldn't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? How'd you know where it was? <clears throat> so that's why you were late. However, I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, <clears throat> then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. In other words. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? <laughs> Monokuma's secret tool? Hey, what are you guys just doing? Are you kissing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma. No, I'm breaking up with him, actually. What the we fuck? We can go over all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? How about you go kiss your boyfriend instead? <laughs> mm? So. Right now, wait, 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 wait a second. Oh. Wait, oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh... How is chat doing tonight? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. It would seem... Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For... a hair. <clears throat> Did you hear somebody else? 
COVID to my oh. room. Did you hear it? <laughs> no. Oh my god. It's a strange way to put it. The cluster is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Goodbye. I cannot go find out. Well, if that's all... Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoka made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? What if I just stood out here forever? Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. And the door slid shut. This time, the clanking was lo loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the me mental mental pressure that that comes with the preparing for an execution. In a dusty darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an <clears throat> immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without a warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illumina illuminating light of hope. <laughs> It was the light of death. I died in that elevator. It was a blind light of despair. <clears throat> oh, she that's so I fucking bright. Wait. Well, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Thrills, well, let's get up with the show. And so the <clears throat> curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, oh a deadly deception, a deadly de betrayal, yeah, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. This is why Kyoko's breaking up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's just being thrown around. <clears throat> Oh, oh my god! Oh. oh fuck, my bones! Oh, oh, I hurt myself. It hurts. No. I was trying to like stretch myself, but then something in my, in my ribcage hurt. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have more skills that we can put, so... Mm -hmm. But I, we are not gonna do that now, so... Wait, we don't have that much, actually. Holy shit. Get the rest, because I mean... We, no, uh, no, maybe I... Never no, mind. no, no, we're not we doing... We hang out with that many people. A lot of people died. Let's be... <clears throat> Okay. Wait, what did you say? Oh, because I, I was gonna be like, I don't know how we get them all, and then I was like, wait, a bunch of people died. That's how we get them. Because <laughs> we didn't yes. hang out with those people fully. No, we didn't. I don't even know how you'd hang. I don't even. How do you even. Well, I guess you don't get them from their end. You just have to hang out with them a few times, and sometimes you'll get them. Because I was like, how do you even get it from, like, um, Sayaka and Leon? Yeah, we got one from Sayaka, I remember. Yeah, that was the first one. Sorry, not her. Just Leon. Because <clears throat> she's like the tutorial hangout. Yeah, true. <gasps> oh shit, I forgot to do something. I have three things I need to do. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna f we're gonna finish here for tonight. Mm hmm. Um, we were also thinking about doing something else today, but it took quite some time, so, um, not that at the moment, so we can prepare, we can do it yeah. another time, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Is there something else? <laughs> Any announcements? No? I don't think so, because I right. can't come up with anything. Uh, are we gonna stream tomorrow? I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't have my schedule. Uh, so, thank you, thank you for everybody who came into the chat, who came came in and lurk. Always appreciate it. And see you next.